Okay, time for another draft. Um, this is what we opened. Uh, Rare's Moreland Haunt. Um, I'm not really seeing any first pickables. I don't really like taking the special lands first pick because it kind of sets you into a color. I really just don't like that. But I'm not really seeing anything else in this pack, so it's going to be our pick. Um, the pick here is probably between More Cut Banshee, Bonds of Faith, and maybe Rebuke. I'm going to take Bonds of Faith because I think it's a bit more reliable than Rebuke. I don't know. It's a bit more versatile, I guess, would be a better term. And then I'm going to take a rebuke. <laughs> and still get the Butcher's Cleaver I was thinking about last pack. Hmm. Okay. Midnight Haunting, yes please. Uh, Victim of Night was another possibility there, but since we're kind of already in the blue-white spectrum, I'd rather take blue and white cards. Um... Here, the pick is probably between Claustrophobia and Silver Inlay Dagger. It's not really much of a choice because Claustrophobia is just so much better. Um, Makeshift Mauler and Smite the Monstrous. Makeshift Mauler is not very good in blue-white. Um, but I'm not a big fan of Smite the Monstrous. Um... I think I'll just take the makeshift mauler. And then take the smite. Sensory deprivation. I've had a lot of success with this card, so I don't have much of a problem taking it. I guess our deck is just going to be all removal, isn't it? <laughs> um, having access to at least one Traveler's Amulet isn't bad because it allows for better splashes. Um, a decent board card, junk, board junk, Okay, we open up Tree of Redemption, Mask, Spider Spawning, Elder Cathar. Tree of Redemption is somewhat good. I'm not a big fan of it first pick, but we don't really have any first pick rules here. Sure, I'll take the tree. I'm not overly impressed with this card, it just hasn't been good for me, so probably just going to take the bonds here. Um, Grasp of Phantasms will basically just act as a time walk twice. It's easily probably, I want to say, the best uncommon in the set. And we're taking two of them. We may not have any creatures, but we have all of the removal. Uh, and we have nothing here. I guess I'll take the Trepanation Blade. It's not that good, but Murder of Crows will make up for it. Don't really need any of these cards, so I'm taking the Pitch Burn Devils. Probably won't. I might splash for it, but I kind of doubt it. But if the only playable cards that we get past are red, I'll probably end up playing it. This was another card that I didn't really mention the last time, but it was really good in that sort of deck, especially with Invisible Stalker. It just turns it into a four-turn clock, which is 
really disgusting, especially with Elder Cathar. It just makes him near unstoppable. Probably take the Feeling of Dread, though. We don't have very many creatures yet, so... This is not looking very good. And... Hmm. Plenty of black cards. Too bad there's no blue or white ones. <laughs> uh, I don't really like taking it, but I don't really want to go start going black on the third pack, so probably just take the blood crazed neonate. Hello, Fiend Hunter. Uh, the mayor there is pretty good, but. I need something that I can actually play. <laughs> um, here the pick is probably between Clifftop, Pitchburn, and Unruly Mob. Um, I like making my mana better, personally. Uh, Kessig Wolf is just a beater, so... Hello, second murder of crows? Definitely need more creatures, so Abby Griffin. These Butcher's Cleavers probably shouldn't be here. That's the problem with using a free draft sim. It's not the most accurate of things ever. Uh, I need more dudes. Clog up the ground and fly over? Seems like a strategy. Um, probably won't play it, but I don't want anybody else to get a three-turn clock on me or anything else. Okay, it looks like a giant pile, but let's w see what we can do with it, shall we? Double Murder of Crow seems really good, so hopefully we can get there. This is what we've got so far. Ugh. Probably play 18 lands. Mm, 17 or 18 lands, but... doesn't look like the best draft deck I've ever done, and I'm not really big on going three colors like this, but I found that you kind of have to a lot in, uh, in a Strahd Limited. Um, let's throw in a big guy, just for the sake of throwing a big guy, and play 17 lands. Nah, let's... I don't like the double red cost on that, so take that out. Just mm. 
Mm, yeah, that looks like it should be fine. Um, actually drop a planes and add an island. Let's see. Yeah, no lander. Not especially great. Even though I don't like it, you probably would have to keep this hand. Um, seems fine, I guess. Again, not a super great hand. This was not one of the better draft decks I've ever made. Well, till next time.